Hey, Wellenburg World Entertainment, and for anyone waiting and hoping to have the Batman Part 2 coming out anytime soon, uh, don't hold your breath. Especially for a bet, because you will lose that bet. Because it's gotten delayed for a year. Now, the movie was already meant to come out in October 3rd, 2025. And it's now being pushed to October 2nd, 2026. It's actually starting to look like this thing might not happen. Especially when Jeffrey Wright has come out and said flat out, Oh yeah, I haven't even seen a script. I, I don't even think there is a script yet. That's the crazy thing. There's not a script. Now, they do mention that apparently this is all due to the strikes that makes sense except for the fact that the movie was announced well before the strike showed up so how have they got nothing written for this thing that's the interesting part nothing written and now the strikes are over and we're in 2024 and they still have nothing written that's quite concerning and then we even heard that oh yeah the Joker will be in this movie um, and I absolutely loved that idea because the Joker for this movie if you've ever seen that deleted scene is horrendous there's a few people who like it Barry Hogan no it was I couldn't understand a goddamn word he said with all that makeup on his mouth and teeth and so I was just like what is he saying doesn't work for me. I don't like the look of that Joker. I didn't like the performance for that Joker. It's not the Joker. However, they're kind of trying to say there's a silver lining as part two will now have some breathing room between it and James Gunn's reboot formerly known as Superman Legacy, which is now just Superman. The Batman 2 can stand on its own away from the shadow of the studio head and his Man of Steel movie and may become a lone tempo in 2026. No, it won't. That's the issue. It won't. Yeah, it's not going to go up against Batman or the Superman, but it's probably going to go up against James Gunn's version of Batman or Supergirl or The Authority or any one of the other movies. Isn't the Swamp Thing meant to be a movie? I think that's meant to be a movie as well, not a show. So there's so many different things now there's an eight year plan for the dcu and they think the batman is gonna have breeding room it's not gotta hope to have breeding room what it has to be and do is be exceptional and be better than anything else that they managed to put out that's how you have no fear about this movie needing breathing room but it just looks like they're struggling to come up with ideas and i wonder if uh, matt reeves is possibly being told you know you gotta rein it in you know you can't have two hours and 45 minutes of a movie and botch the ending because let's face it as good as the batman was the third act is a problem it's not good in the third act you know, once the Riddler was defeated, that's where the movie should have ended. And it didn't. It kept going for an extra 40 odd minutes. And you're like, uh, yeah, it was a good two hour movie. Shame it went on for two hours and 45 minutes. So, do you, Alan, is it possible that Matt Reeves is now kind of overstretched himself by doing the Penguin series? You know, did he put a bit too much focus going into that rather than starting to work on the batman 2 and now they trying to figure out and work in ways to join them together you know trying to get oh we need the penguin series to connect to the batman part 2 and whatnot we'll have to wait and see again i wouldn't be surprised if the plug just gets pulled on it especially if joker 2 fails i wonder if they'll get cold feet about these standalones if joker 2 fails which would be unfair to the batman because they're two completely different entities 
and but we'll have to wait and see you know what Warner Brother does do they pull the plug do they continue will this thing actually come out in 2026 or will it get pushed again or maybe even brought forward who knows we'll have to wait and see but as of now it's delayed for a year so it's to come out in basically three years time yay so with that i'll leave it there for this one so cheers and i'll catch you in the next one